Well, if you take a drive around the metro, chances are you're swerving around and keeping a close eye out for those potholes. I know I am every single day. <laughs> and now Kansas City hopes a new job could help fix that problem. The city plans to hire a pothole czar. As 41 Action News reporter Tom Dempsey explains, that help can't come soon enough. Yeah, that's right, guys. The team here at Johnson County Automotive sees the damage from potholes firsthand. Check out this wheel that came into the shop, this tire rim that came into the shop recently. You can see that. They believe that is from a pothole. But as far as this issue is concerned, some help could be coming in the form of a special job. Potholes for me, they mean business. This time of year, mechanics know all about pothole problems. Cars coming in and out of shops like Johnson County Automotive, some with damage similar to this. Because of the impact and the tire hitting that, it's bent. This arm here is completely twisted. And leaving drivers with expensive repairs. We're probably in a $1,500 uh, area, something like that. But Kansas City now hopes to address the problem directly. KCMO Mayor Quinton Lucas previewing his State of the City speech, announcing he'd like to hire a pothole czar after pledging to fix the issue during his campaign last year. We have not spent money in the way that we promised to taxpayers that we would. The mayor hoping this special role could organize funding and timely responses to fill those pesky problems to make things safer. The question just is, how do we fix it? And so what we are looking to is to have a person whose responsibility is where it stops. The plan, part of millions of extra dollars in the budget to address roads and coming after drivers filed over 1,600 complaints about potholes this year, around a quarter more than the same time in 2019. It's time we have to say, let's take care of what we got. Let's take care of our city. Let's take care of the, the, the voters who have said time and again they want us to address existing needs. A nuisance of the roads bringing costly repairs, now possibly leading to a special job being created. No, I don't know if it takes a czar, but having somebody that's uh, in charge of it probably is a good start, you know? Now, as far as the start date for this pothole czar and the salary for the position, that all still remains unknown at this point, but we could learn more during the mayor's State of the City address on Wednesday. Live in Miriam, I'm Tom Dempsey, 41 Action News.